We've had three American presidents. Um, it's, we've had 14 years on Earth. I don't know why I wrote that. Two console generations. That's 14 years on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex. So you're a big time Kingdom Hearts guy. You're probably our biggest Kingdom Hearts fan here at Tech Do Raptor. I have to talk in this video? Yes, you do. I'm um, pretty worried. So I put out an article the other day called How Almost to Piss Off Alex. Yeah, basically. It's titled Almost Everything That Happened in Gaming and Tech Between the Release of Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3. So if you really um, care about your life, you won't read this article. I don't know why you're talking shit, man. We got a direct quote from you in this. Um, anyway, so I made this list and of just kind of bullet points of like big events that had happened every year since. So since 2006 and researching this, I forgot how shitty the internet was in 2006. There were a lot of big events. I think we killed Saddam Hussein. There, we killed we Saddam Hussein. We killed Laden. Osama bin Laden. Uh, we we killed uh, Iraq. President Trump's been elected. Um, um, I think the Punisher season one's been out. Yeah. The uh, office ended. Uh, well, here, let's go over this really quick. Between the release of Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3, the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe happened. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. The entire PS3 Xbox generation happened. Think I like of it, this, actually. Think now. of it this way. When Kingdom Hearts 2 released, you had to go to, like, Yahoo videos to watch a trailer for it in 240p because YouTube wasn't necessarily a thing. I remember in 2010, I watched a video on YouTube of a woman giving a live birth. Like, it wasn't a live, <laughs> like, video. It was just a full video of somebody... It was like a health video of a woman giving birth. Wow, I wish I never watched it. Tell us more about your channel, Alex. Uh, all right, let's start this off. Ready? 2006. I thought we had started it off. Well, no, well now we're going down the list. Oh, 2006. God. Kingdom Hearts 2 officially launches in the West. Um, it launched 2005 in Japan, but uh, we're not going to count the Japanese releases. I knew releases. you were going to do this. I knew you weren't nope. going to stick to the facts. You're going to put all these little side no, no, notes this is, in. And and no, this time. is a fact here really quick, because in the time that this game came out and now, their Japanese releases used to be stagnated, where it would come out a year before we would okay. get it out here. And I that's kind of rare now. Okay, so the biggest gaming news of that year was the hot coffee mod in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Um, there was a class action lawsuit was against Rock. Yep. I have that. We've talked about that. I have yeah, that disc. You actually have that disc, which is kind of cool. Facebook was open to the public that year, so you didn't have to have a college email. You're you're right. The Razer, the Motorola Razer was like the bleeding edge phone. Um, 2007. Every year I'm going to list a notable couple games that came out during that year just so you can see like... You know what would be cool is if we did a podcast where I had a, f a fake volume or a speed <laughs> knob in the air and then every time I wanted you to talk faster, I would just turn You just sped me up? Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. Well, that would be funny. All right, let's do that now. All right. Um, fast forwarding to the end. Are okay, so in 2007, Halo 3, Assassin's Creed 1, The Witcher 1, Bioshock 1, Gwent. Mass Effect. One, Gwent one, Uncharted one, and Half Life Two Episode Two were released that year. Steve Jobs right. announced Only the iPhone more years. in 2007, so the fat like smartphones didn't exist. Netflix started streaming video, and J.K. Rowling finished her last Harry Potter book. That part I do know because I remember burning one because um, <laughs> I liked this girl and I wanted her attention. Oh, and she see. loved Harry Potter, so I burned the book and spoiled the end. <laughs> well, here, here's the fact in 2007 tell that you might like. Show how I like girls. Um. Really Call of Duty vibes. Modern Warfare 4 was released that year. So Call of Duty's been dead <laughs> since 2007. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because everyone always says, if you weren't around for the Modern Warfare 4 days, then you never lived. And did, yeah. That's 12 years ago. So Call of Duty died when Kingdom Hearts came out. <laughs> um, also, uh, a brand new show starring a young uh, brunette girl named Kim Kardashian premiered in the United States in what 2007. The, the porno tape? Yeah. Well, no, the porno tape came out in 2006, her first TV show. So basically, Keeping when Kingdom Hearts came out, the Kardashians weren't even a thing. Okay. To be like really pop culture, uh, this is back when people wore Livestrong bracelets. That's Remember true. those? When, when Lance Armstrong had one test. 2008, though. Twilight was released. Are you gonna skip any years? Uh, I'm just gonna do three facts per year. We're gonna go. We're gonna hammer through them. Near the you end. You said two. Okay. Well, near the end, you we lied. start hammering. It I, gets no, it gets more boring near the end. Trust oh, me. Oh, oh, at the end. Hey, um, Spotify first launched in 2008. Grand Theft Auto 4 was released, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe started in 2008. All right. 2009, Avatar becomes the highest grossing film of all time. Nah. Crazy Taxi's biggest fan, Michael Jackson, died. And Kingdom Hearts 358 by two days is launched. Which is that stupid game you wait. Here's some notable games that came out in 2009, really quick. ODST, Assassin's Creed 2, Uncharted 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 
Street Fighter 4, Left 4 Dead 2, and Halo 3. Wait, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, Modern Warfare 2, what? Modern Warfare 2 came out in 2009. After Modern Warfare 4? 2008, Black Ops came out. I'm confused. Don't even worry about it. I don't Because you're so... I'm 2008, you're so 2000 late. Oh my god, you're so Remember that song? Lame. Because now we're in 2010. Uh, the very first Humble Bundle was released. Justin Bieber released Baby. Um, the Microsoft Connect <laughs> was released. And uh, here's some games that came out in 2010. The Infinity Blade, Epic Mickey, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops, and uh, Final Fantasy 13. That year, the iPad was released. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. How long did this take you to do? Was put out on PSP. Dude, this took me eight hours to write. Jesus Christ. Yeah. D there's no website that's like, here's what happened every fucking year. I, I, or if I, you do it, it's like, this is what happened this year with this dumb actor you don't care about. And it's like, dude, I don't give a fuck yeah, about Carly Rae Jepsen. You had to literally look at like when the iPad came out. I, yeah, it, it took a long time. 2011, Nintendo releases the 3DS. Um, the United States Supreme Court declares video games to be pre protected by free speech laws. So apparently up until then, they weren't protected by the First Amendment. Uh, I, I had no idea. I don't know if you did. Now they're going to get taken away. Hell yeah, they are. Because games are bad. Here's That's some uh, games that came out in 2011. Nope. Skyrim, Infamous 2, Dark Souls, L.A. Noir, The Witcher 2, Portal 2, Uncharted 3, and Skyward Sword Do came I out that year. Do I even need to be a part of this? Um, Steve Jobs died. And wait, the wait, very wait, wait, wait. When did he die? 2011. No way. That's yeah. been that long. Yeah, it's been that long. That's crazy. Yeah, 2012, Spike Video Game Awards had its I final that. show. I remember that. Nintendo launched the Wii U, and the first Avengers movie came out. As far as video games go, uh, nothing good came out that year. JK Journey came out. Uh, actually, indie games became like a bigger thing. So if you think about it, when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, indie games were, that wasn't a thing. And then Black Ops 2 becomes the fastest game in history to make over $1 billion. That's pretty chill. And they did it in a week. That's cool. 2013, Sony and Microsoft reveal their new consoles. PS3? And okay. Kingdom Hearts 3 was officially announced to the public so that's ps3 in and the xbox 360 ps4 xbox one 2013 yeah oh okay yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that makes 2013 sense. the uh tech raptor was founded oh okay i know the oculus rift had its first ever like version that came out to people so vr gaming started in the time it's between really these not, two fucking games it really hasn't improved much it really hasn't <laughs> since 2013 and the ouya came out do you remember that oh yeah oh yeah i don't remember that but it was a big piece of shit 2014, Nintendo put out the Amiibos. Um, a streaming platform called Twitch was acquired by Amazon for $1 billion. In when? 2014. That's interesting. Self-driving cars began to show up on American roads. Stone Oak Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, Apple buys Beats by Dr. Dre for $3.2 billion, making Dr. Dre the richest rapper ever. And then Sean, Microsoft Sean bought Combs. Minecraft for $2.5 billion. And Square Enix still wasn't able to get Kingdom Hearts 3 out. Yeah, I'm just saying all these other people were able to do all this shit. And then well, Square still couldn't Disney's get one video a, game out. A, a fickle beast. 2015, Nintendo announces that they're uh, going to get, make mobile titles with Apple. And Final Fantasy VII Remake is announced. Does so, the Switch come out yet? That was 2016. That was the next year, yeah. Okay. Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, they announced that. We'll do another video with this, but it will be 30 years long. <laughs> and I won't be in it. No, I'll have to do it by myself because it's going to take nine neither hours. Neither will Nick because I'll um, murder him. 2015 was also the year where smart homes, connected cars, smart assistant devices, such as the Amazon Echo and Google Home became like mainstream. So in the time that it took to make this game, we're now able to turn on our lights with our voice. 2016, your favorite game, Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue was released on the PlayStation 4. Do you want me to break my computer? Uh, Disney Infinity was closed down. Pokemon Go was played by a large portion of the Earth's population. Dude, I only have one minute left to battery. You better hurry. All right, 2017. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's I can hate you. Like, 2017, like three, uh, three hour, four hours. a little indie mobile MOBA called uh, Arena Valor what? earned two billion dollars. So cool where you like play it down, but it's like super big. Uh, anyways, that game earned two billion dollars in 2017. Yeah, we played it at the very end of 2017. We played it. We played it, and it was like a beta or a demo. Yeah, but it had already been in Asia, and it already yeah, made, right. it already made that's two right. billion dollars right. out there. No, you're, you're, you're right. Nintendo reveals and launches the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. So Nintendo has had three mainline consoles. Wait, the Switch wasn't out when when we went to twitchcon it was out i none of this is in order in the year okay because that would take me forever 
So you're lazy um, is what you're saying. I, I am. I'm very lazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's some games that came out that year. Resident Evil 7, Mass Effect Andromeda. That's <laughs> that's crazy that RE7 came out two, three years ago. Uh, I think five Resident Evil games came out in the time. And then uh, Club Penguin closes that year, which was sad. 2018, Kingdom Hearts 3 is playable at E3. We played it. It's pretty fucking cool. Fortnite becomes the highest uh, grossing game of the year because Battle Royale becomes a thing. The video game awards that were canceled in previous years gains more viewers than the Academy Awards. Hmm. Uh, so That's in the time it took for Kingdom Hearts to come out, video games became relevant. culturally relevant. Yeah. If you think about it, think about 2006 to now. That's probably why they released it too. that's why they're like we need we we're not we're not releasing the game until it's culturally no, no, not like that but like yeah. they waited and it just, the timing just kind of worked yeah. out you know um and then uh avengers infinity war earns roughly 2.5 billion dollars in the box office and, box office. and uh, red dead two. sold red dead 2 came out and sold more than black ops 4 yep so and it's it, it's crazy it only it barely beat it isn't that crazy to think about like call of duty only gets beat out when rockstar games come around yeah that's insane i i would actually wonder if this game came out against those two which one would win i don't think kingdom hearts is gonna do as well as you think it's gonna do i think it might i definitely um no i don't think anybody gives a shit about it except for you (laughs) only me i Uh, I really don't think it's gonna do well here's some quick stats really quick we've had three american presidents um, it's, we've had 14 years on Earth. I don't know why I wrote that. It was like 6 a.m. at this point. Two console generations. That's 14 years <laughs> on Earth. <laughs> 12. I, I think I wrote that and then realized like it was like a temporary thing. Like if I can't come up with more stuff, I'll keep that. And then I never deleted it. We've had 12 mainline Call of Duty games. Yeah, that- the entire Uncharted what? series, the entire Assassin's Creed series, the entire Bioshock series, four mainline Resident Evil games, the entire first 10 years in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, four Star Wars movies, and then uh, the highest video output at the time was 480p. That's pretty cool. That's, you know, digital games weren't a thing. Yeah. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then you also, you, you wrote a really interesting quote here about Kingdom Hearts. Oh my uh, God, shut up. If you'd like me to read it out loud for I you. I don't. I've never heard of Kingdom Hearts until last C3. It's pretty cool, but the story is definitely confusing. Thank you for Wait, your Did input. I say that? Uh, I wrote it in there. I didn't say that. <laughs> so you're need... forging quotes from me <laughs> I now? told you. I texted you. No, you didn't. <laughs> I did today. I don't remember that. All right. Well, I'm fucking with you. Uh, yeah. So what do you have to say about all that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks a lot. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more Tech Raptor videos. And... Check out our podcast. It's called Friendship Simulator, where we're a little bit nicer to each other, but not very much. Not that nice. No, we're pretty nice. Sometimes. Pretty cool. Anyways, uh, yeah. Play some Kingdom Hearts or play Resident Evil. I don't care. Do what makes you happy. Love you. Do what makes me happy, though. Bye. Bye.